A bold invasion of privacy has some local women outraged. Someone reportedly took pictures and videos of naked women at several spas without those women knowing. It all started with a search warrant in Carrollton. Now deputies think the images were taken at not so zen and polished life in Newport News. 13 News Now reporter Robert Boyd is digging into this investigation tonight in Carrollton. Well, sheriff's deputies actually removed spray tan chemicals and products out of this home today, uh, which may not seem that alarming until you start connecting the dots and you realize it could be part of a child porn ring. And I'm surprised because this is usually a very safe neighborhood. We've been here for a while. Tanisha Lawrence, like most people living on Rivers Arch Road, didn't expect to hear that her neighbor's home was raided by law enforcement. We talk about stranger danger, but again, this is a neighbor. I mean neighbor. The Isle of Wight County Sheriff's Office says it was on a previous child porn investigation where they found over a dozen nude pics and also video of women and juveniles while they were getting spray tanned at two different Newport News locations. Not so zen and a polished life. The woman whose home was searched owns one of those businesses and rents space from another. Investigators were able to identify one of those victims. And she told us that um, she responded to a Groupon ad for a spray tan, uh, which she took advantage of just prior to going on her vacation. According to the search warrant, it appears that Groupon was being used to lure women and adolescents into these tanning locations. During the search, Computer equipment and camera equipment were also removed from the home. She had no idea until she was confronted by our investigators that she was photographed and or videoed without her knowledge. Now, so far, there have been no arrests in this case, and here's why. It's because it stems over two different jurisdictions, Newport News and right here in Isle of Wight. So both those police departments want to get together and make sure they're on the same page before any charges are filed. In Isle of Wight, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.